Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, this will be the part 5 of my video series on family GPS tracker app in Android Studio. Okay. So guys, in my previous video, I show you, I, I tried to log in the user uh, to the Firebase console. Okay. And in this video, we will try to fetch the user, uh, first of all, email. Okay, and we will check if the user uh, email is already registered on Firebase or not. Okay, if it is not already registered, so we will go to next activity and on our next activity, the user will enter his password. Okay, so get, let's get started. So first of all, let me show you the Firebase console. Okay, so you first of all you have to go to to authentication and in click on then click on sign in method and in here you have to enable the email and password provider. Okay, you can enable. After that, just go to your Android Studio project. Okay, so here we have this uh, register activity. In our previous video, we had login activity. Okay. And in this activity, we will work in this video, we will work on register activity. All right. So here we have this uh, register activity. So here, first of all, what we will do, we will, I will drag the uh, email here. Okay. And first of all, let's change it to linear layout and then okay so we just remove that and we also remove it so we can say match parent margin top remove that gravity and we can set the gravity to center okay so we have gravity center okay so it will be in center and we need a button okay and also in what we can do we can say gravity bottom and below Okay, so we just change it back to relative layout and just remove the button. Okay. Let's remove this again. Get the email and paste it here. Okay, so and I also drag the button. Okay, so now we can say next. Okay, and in here we can say hint, enter your email. All right. And let's now go to our register activity here first of all initialize our edit text let's see what is the id so edit text for so we can say e for email equals to edit text find you by id r dot id dot edit text for all right so now we can say public void go to password activity okay so and in here we need to check if this email is already registered or not so for that 
what we can do first of all let's initialize our file base auth so we can say file base auth and we can initialize it as auth equals to file base auth dot get instance okay so here we can say auth dot fetch providers for email okay so in here we have to send the e email okay so we can say e for email dot get text dot to string okay so now it will it will fetch the it okay but what we can we need to check is if the if the email is present in the list or not okay so for that we can use add on complete business so we can implement the method override the method on complete and in here we have to check if task is successful okay so here we have to check so for that we can say boolean check equals to not task dot get result dot get providers and we need to convert it to string and dot is empty we need to check if it is empty not empty okay if now we can say check is not true so here we can say email does not exist so we can create this email with user okay else we can print a message this email is already registered all right so here what we will do we will say okay and first of all let's use a process uh, progress dialog so we can say progress dialog and let's initialize a dialog equals to progress new progress dialog and we pass this and here dialog dot set title or set message checking you email address dialog dot show and in our own uh, complete Okay, here we can say if the task is successful dialog dot dismiss else dialog dot dismiss okay so here we will open another activity okay so we need to create the password activity okay so now go to new activity and empty activity and here we can say password activity all right we will have this password activity so what we will do here open the password activity and change it to relative layout similarly we have to design it so first of all let's use the edit text of password type and show it here and we can say hint enter your enter password okay now what we can do first of all we have to send uh, we have to open the intent open the activity so we can say intent my intent equals to new intent in here we can say register activity dot this and password activity dot class and we can say start activity and in here we can send my intent but before that we need to send this email address to another activity okay so we can say my intent dot put extra and here we can say email 
and we need to send e for email dot get text dot to string all right so now we have to send this email to our uh, this activity so for that uh, to get the uh, to get the email so we can say intent my intent equals to get intent okay so and if my intent is not null so what we can do so first of all let's say we have string email and here we can say email equals to my intent dot get string extra and here we can say email okay now we now we have the email here so in our password field we have to also drag a button and here we need to say next okay so in a when the user press the next button what we will do public void go to name pick activity okay so now what we will do here we have to say okay so now the user will we need to get the user password from here so what we will do we can say first of all initialize the edit text so for that first of all let's see the id of the edit text edit text 3 okay so we can say edit text e3 password okay so we in our own create method we can say e3 password equals to edit text find the id r dot id dot edit text 3 all right and in our go to na uh, name activity activity so we can say in here we need to create another activity name activity okay so in our password activity here we need to check if e3 password dot get text dot to string dot length is greater than six so here we can say intent my intent equals to new intent and here we can say password activity dot this and name activity dot class okay and we have to send uh, the email as well as the password so what we can do we can say my intent dot put extra first of all we have to send the email and we can say email and also we need to send password so we can say e3 password dot get text dot to string and finally we can say start activity and in here we can send the my intent okay so we have go to name okay so and in our else part we can say password length should be more than six vectors all right so we have we are now sending the email as well as the password to our next activity and in our name activity we need to get the value so for that similarly we will use intent my intent equals to get intent and we will need to check if my intent is not equal to null so we can say in email password okay so first of all let me see email and password okay so we can here say email equals to my intent dot get string extra and here we can say email 
password equals to my intent dot get string extra and we can say password okay all right guys so uh, now we have got the email address of the user as well as the password and in our next activity we will take the user name as well as his image okay so for that we have we will i will create another video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye